What up guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how I pretty much do my hair every day. If you want to see how I get this look, then just keep watching. Alright, so you're going to start off by sectioning off your leave out. I just put mine up in a little ponytail and I'm twisting, twisting, I'm twisting it up into a bun right now. Alright, well let's try that again. And now we're back in business. Okay, so now that you've done that, you're just going to take the rest of your hair and grab a paddle brush and you're just going to brush your hair from the ends to the roots. Just make sure there, that there's no tangles or anything like that or any snags because you don't want to have to deal with that later. So we're going to start off with one section and we're just going to put the other one to the back and you're just going to grab a small section of hair, maybe like an inch or two, and then you're just going to put the rest of your hair to the back. Next, you're gonna grab some wrap lotion. I'm using one by Proclaim. You're just gonna take one pump and rub it all throughout the section. I've noticed that this hair does not curl well at all, and so this is the only way I can make the curls last. Next, you're gonna grab a flexi rod, a bendy roller, whatever you wanna call it, and you're gonna wrap it around the roller. But make sure you keep the hair flat because you don't want it to be a wave, you want it to be a curl. So yeah, just keep going. So you get all the way down to the bottom. All right, so once you get down to the end, you're just gonna take the end of the roller and kind of like bend it up and twist it so that it will hold the end. And there you go. I'll show you guys one more just in case, you know, you didn't see it the first time. Just gonna take the roller and then just wrap it around flat so that you'll get a nice tight curl it's pretty easy and then just wrap it around the bottom again and you're good and you're just going to do this throughout your whole entire head and you should end up with something like that and don't flexi rod your leave out i usually flat iron mine because it my hair will not hold with a flexi rod all right so then you're going to take a silk bonnet scarf whatever you have and you're just going to stuff it all into that i usually hate wearing these they give me a headache but i don't know i had to all right so how long are you going to take to stuff your hair in that okay there you go push it back whatever so you can go to sleep you know or you can put on makeup like i did whatever just leave it up for a couple of hours and then take it down <laughs> Okay, so now that you've done that, you can start taking the rollers down. I like to unravel them like in the opposite direction that I put them in because it just makes it like a lot easier to take them down. And then you can just untwist the ends like that. It's pretty much the same process all over your head. So I just skipped ahead to the last one that I took down. So you should end up with something like this maybe, you know, super curly. You could keep your hair like this, but I'm not really into that look, so I'm going to finger comb mine out a little bit. And yes, big hair, don't care. So we're going to take that, put it all to the back, and start working on our leave out. Alright, so you're just going to take the ponytail out and make sure your hair is brushed out. That is the key to every look. Make sure your hair is brushed out. Alright, so I like to have a deep side part, so I'm just going to make my part in the side of my head. And I'm gonna start with my bang. All right, so taking a flat iron or a curling iron, I'm using a curling iron, you're just gonna curl your bangs inwards, like in the front of your head. And you're gonna hold it there for maybe like 10 to 15 seconds. But then you're not gonna let the curl fall, you're gonna hold it in place and you're gonna grab a bobby pin or two and pin it to your head so that the curl will cool in that position. There you go. So then you can just start curling the rest of your hair. I just sped up this process. All you have to do is curl your hair outwards. You don't have to pin curl it like I did the bang. I just like my bangs to be, I don't know, if I pin curl it, usually my bangs last longer because for some reason my hair doesn't hold a curl at all, ever. So yeah, um, pin curling it makes it last a lot longer. So yeah, you're just gonna keep curling your hair away from your face. 
And I think this is the last section. And I'm good. So now that you've finished curling it, you can just go ahead and take down your bang. I had to like really play with it because mine, it was like getting on my nerves. Like I could not get it right, but I think, you know, I think I got it, kind of. All right, so if you like your hair like this, you can go ahead and leave it like that, but I'm not sure if you guys couldn't see that look of disgust I had on my face. So I decided to brush mine out and I ended up liking the look a lot better after I did that. All right, so my edges are looking a little busted. I'm just gonna take some ORS edge control and smooth them out. Usually I don't do this, I just flat iron my edges and then use the edge control of my baby hair, but I'm on the verge of not having any edges because I've been burning them to hell. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a brush and you know, smooth out my baby hair, make them look all cute. Yes, girl. And this is the finished look. Um, this is pretty much how I wear my hair every single day. It's easy to do. It doesn't take that long. And yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. See you in my next video.